Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome, I'm SimUK. Ship Graveyard Simulator 2 is a fantastic game. It has just three problems though. It's got no multiplayer, no damage is taken from falling debris or high falls, and the truck gets stuck a lot. Other than that, SGS2 is fantastic. It's way better than the original and a lot more engaging. You start with the free ship section to practice on, and if you select the tutorial option, then the game will guide you through all of the equipment and show you how to use them. Hammers hit blue bolts, the grinder grinds yellow struts, and the torch burns through red beams. We have a few other little nuggets to play with too. We've got explosives, which are fun, if a little bit underwhelming. And there's a crane which can be called in to remove heavy items like ship engines, cargo containers and loaded crates. Your hands represent how quickly you can gather parts off the floor and it starts agonisingly slow. I mean really badly slow, but you can upgrade that and make everything happen a lot faster. Equally, the box icon represents how much weight you can hold in your hands. And trust me, you want to be aiming for about 100k as early on as you can. So after you've completed that free ship, you can sell it and then purchase your own. Each ship gets progressively more expensive, comes with more ship, literally more ship. You start off with a section, then a half, then a full ship, then a big ship. And that means that the potential parts and the components that you can sell increase as well. Uh, but they also become increasingly more demanding, requiring longer grinds and more hammer blows. Unless, of course, you upgrade your components by buying blueprints and upgrading them. Okay, first one is released. Let's see if we can get it out of here. Fantastic. Each ship has three contracts that you can fulfill, but you don't have to. I would say that it's a good idea to prioritise these contracts, though, as they bring in a lot of very good money. And if you go to the sorting area, just be careful not to sort the parts that you've earmarked for your contracts. Just click on surplus instead. The game runs at a solid 60 FPS in 2K whilst recording. It's stable enough for multiplayer, I would say, but I did hit a few bugs a few times where the tool that I was using got stuck and I couldn't do anything with it at all. But a simple save and reload seemed to fix it, so this is just a small bug that I'm sure they'll fix after release. Occasionally fixtures would remain in situ, that means they didn't fall down, despite being attached to absolutely nothing, which is a bit irritating. It's, uh, you know, immersion breaking, but it's not game breaking. Overall, the game is incredibly Moorish. The more you play, the more you want to play. And that's great. That's exactly what you want from a game. But... It would be a hundred times better if we had multiplayer and the fear of death damage from falling debris. Even without that, though, the game is absolutely solid and I highly recommend it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye for now.